2019, April the 19th. It's about 10 past 7. I'm standing at Kirbomstrand. That's Plettenberg Bay. Just in the sunrise over there. And uh, mornings. And we are going to do the Nature's Valley to Kirbomstrand hike this morning as part of the um, high-tech garden route hiking or walking festival we're just waiting for some more people to arrive and to establish the group and then we're going to carpool our way to um, nature's valley on the opposite end and while we're waiting we're just taking a look around It's about quarter past eight. We're at Nature's Valley. It's the restaurant, Nature's Valley trading store and restaurant. And I'm a little bit late. I need to catch up. Oh, look at this. Okay, guys, we're a super big group because we had a glitch on the website that didn't stop bookings at 21 people. Okay. And we noticed that when there were 40 odd people here, it was like, well, just make it work. So we're just going to get a quick count so that we know who's here. I'll start with one and we'll just go around the circle like that and as you go just say the next number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Forty-one. So, what we're going to do, um, if you can all hear me, is we've got Peter here because with a group like this, it's really difficult to manage them on a trail that we've got. So, we're going to have a fast group and a slow group. So, if you feel you want to keep moving and, and finish this walk a little bit quicker, then you're going to hang out with Peter up front. Uh, we will meet maybe at the odd space, just so that when we're walking, we're not just a big bunch. And uh, if you find Peter's like too fit for you, you can hang out and wait for us to catch up with you. Okay, so just to give you an idea, so Peter's going to be up front, I'm going to be at the back, and uh, that's how we can walk. Someone's got my... Maybe just a few things that I want to share with you around being... Um, ready. These are just a list of things that you can take with you from this walk but into other walks that you might go on if you're hiking or even participating in other walks on the festival. So I work, for, I work for an organization called the World Trail Network. We're a global non-profit organization based in Switzerland in Geneva and we've come up with this thing called to be trail ready and it follows the following sort of just the four rules of hiking. Yeah, so you want to have a rain jacket if you need, or a jacket of some kind in case it gets cold. You want to have batteries, and you maybe want to have a knife. Hydration, so we all got water today, something to drink. Beer also counts. <laughs> Emergency, you might want to make sure you have a small medical kit, a first aid, a whistle, yeah. and an emergency shelter of some sort, like a space blanket. Yes. Food is always good. Even if you're just going for a half hour walk, if something goes wrong, that half hour could turn into six hours. And a little bit of food or extra snacks is always great to have with you. Communication. This is a big one for me always. Is communicate, communicate, communicate. So even today, if you feel you're struggling, you're not feeling great, it's no good to say, oh, you know, I'm going to hold everyone up or you know, I'm going to be a pain for other people. No. When you're out in the wild, communicate, especially to 
more freedom, whether you've got a little plastic coming or whatever it might be, because the sooner you can catch something, the sooner you can do something about it. It's not the sooner it's going to be any issue. Directions or orientation, carry a map, a GPS if you have, or a compass. The last thing I like to do from a trail's perspective is, is to pay attention. So if you see that the trail is damaged in any way, there's a, a tree that's fallen across it, or there's been a wash away, or some steps have been broken, report those to the trail management people. In this case, it would be Sam Parks, and we've got a Sam Parks fantastic person with us today, so you can tell that. Um, leave no trace. Let live and let be, especially when it comes to nature. So. You know, we don't have to collect rocks and take them home. We don't have to pick flowers and take them home. And we can leave wildlife to be as it is, where it is, and where it's happy. And lastly, is to have an attitude of spreading the love and sharing the trail with others. So those are our be trail ready principles from the World Trails Network. Um, you could go to our website if you wanted to at some point and download them if you like. But I just thought I'd share them with you today. Brilliant. We're going to walk along the coast to Salt River. From Salt River, we're going to go up through the forest and then along the, 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 the ridge path and then down the forest wall down to the beach. And then we're going to carry on along the coast all the way to Kierbon Strand. So it's a beautiful walk and we've got a beautiful day. Okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. Is there any questions? Is there any questions before we head out? Awesome. Fantastic. Alright. Okay, so anyone who wants to has a faster pace, go ahead with Peter and the rest of us we can just keep going a little bit. It's just about twenty-five past eight. And here's a marker. to the Salt L L River via Nature's Valley Lookout. We're not going that way. Going on to half past eight. Black Gummer. It's about quarter to nine and there's an interesting structure in the water over there which I'm going to inspect.
as you can see this is not a straightforward stroll in the park it's a little bit of scrambling Uh, let me get out of your shots, sorry. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It looks like a... Some kind of a door. The hinge is sticking out and the flaps. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing to put in a composition. Man. Yes, yes. Peculiar. Anyway. Uh, it's just past quarter to nine. And uh, is that the Salt River? Uh, that's the that's mouth, yes. Okay, good. Yeah. And we're going into the forest now? We're going a little bit into the forest and then down to the river mouth. Okay. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Good factor, you, you plan to be out a little longer than today? No, it's the first time I'm doing this hike. I wasn't quite sure what the conditions were going to be, what okay. the weather was going to do, so I rather over prepare. Right, so you got a tent and a cooking device. Not today, no, not <laughs> not now, no. Damn. <laughs> but I've got I've got a big first aid kit in there. <laughs> okay, good to know. Probably like three or four years. Okay. Okay. Warm, cheese, okay. But like you say, you know, sort of like if I have to go work in the restaurant or something. Then you'll do it again. On, I get blisters. Oh. By the end of the night, I'm like, oh, oh my god, oh my god. And then as soon as the last customer is gone, I'm like, oh, walking across the car park. Excellent. <laughs> okay, it's just about nine o'clock. This is the Salt River mouth. Step in the water. Just come out of the forest over there. And it looks like we're going across to that little sign at the aloes. And then I don't know where. But I'm just speculating. I've never been here before, so I don't know. It's just about nine o'clock. Salt River Mouth. Um, it's one of. Where's Nandi? Nandi, what do you know about the Salt River? What do I know about the Salt River? No, no, Salt River Mouth. Oh, the Salt River Mouth. Why is it called the Salt River? Salt River. Salt River. Organisms that live in this river that you don't find anywhere else. They're prehistoric. They're from when the dinosaurs still hung out here. Wow. And uh, and because they're still here, they maintain that this river has got really good ecological integrity and that these microorganisms still exist. So there hasn't been a major disruption. Even though in the headwaters of this stream, you've got a brick factory and a polo estate and all sorts of things and cow agriculture that's probably throwing a whole lot of stuff into this river eventually. But somehow seems to maintain a ecological balance which is beautiful so it's amazing this is the salt river it's a beautiful a beautiful bay that comes in here <coughs> and for those of you not from the area it's an amazing spot to hang out in summer mm. you can pretty much have it to yourself on most days if you're lucky but what also lives here and which i was just looking for a moment ago was a, a pair of fish eagles they oh. nest in the trees in the forest from the from the, the slopes there and you might even call um but they're a beautiful, they're the beautiful residents of this, of this spot, which is really nice. Yeah. So we're a really big crowd. <coughs> what I'm going to share with you then is a, is what we have here at, at River Mouth is something uh, really special because where the rivers meet the sea, 
mm -hmm. is, as the poet David White says, is where the rivers die. And they bring their memories and their stories from the mountains into the ocean. And the ocean is the recipient in many ways of all the stories that live in the mountains. But our oceans are also the recipients of all the plastic and trash that we dump inland. So this is one of the crazy phenomena things. We often walk on the beach and we've got a couple of beach cleanup walks on this festival in Nature's Valley on Sunday, I think, or is it tomorrow? Mossel Bay and in Brenton. And a lot of the a lot of the plastic that and the beach is looking pretty clean this morning. A lot of the plastic that we, we pick up on our coastline we think it comes from like tankers and shipping industry, but it's not. A lot of it is actually from inland ah. and it's actually coming down our rivers and in that way getting into the ocean and then being distributed along our coast. So I'm going to read a poem to you that, that I just love to share. And, and this is a beautiful place to contemplate the, um, the value of our rivers and how our rivers connect with the ocean. So this is a poem by a chap called David White and it's called Where Many Rivers Meet. It goes like this. All the water below came from above. All the clouds living in the mountains gave it to the rivers, who gave it to the sea, which was their dying. And so I float on cloud, become water. Central sea surrounded by white mountains, the water salt, once fresh. Cloud fall and stream rush, tree roots and tide bank, leading to the river's mouth. And the mouths of the rivers sing into the sea the stories buried in the mountains. Give out into the sea, and the sea remembers and sings back from the depths where nothing is forgotten. And the sea sings back from the depths where nothing is forgotten. back from the sea. And I love that image. Mm -hmm. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll walk a little further and then we'll have a little bit of a break. I don't know if, how deep is the water, Peter? Do we have to get into our swimming costumes, right? Yeah. Should you kit or quick swim? <laughs> okay, and then we'll carry on. <laughs> It's uh, going on to nine po uh, 10 past 9 and uh, this is the, the greatly feared river crossing. So uh, be aware, become prepared. Ach, lekker man. Rather have and not want than want to not have. Okay. Well, it's about quarter past nine and uh, now it's the river crossing back there. It's just in front of that big log. Sorry. There's some beautiful snakes in the forest. Lovely. You can also see if one with a big group like this, we're not going to see that like right now. Yeah. But there's some beautiful adders and worm slung 
Keep your eyes open because it's nice to say hi to them. I don't know, ask people, what's your name? Did you see any tracks this morning? Did no. you see some? Yeah. Oh. No, but no, no, like no, no. Not no. Not I didn't see them. Well. Last to it one, you, you will find some. Yeah. But you didn't see them in the day? No, no. But yeah, not too many. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Ah. In Kerako. And bush peak? Ooh. Bush peak, bush park. And then obviously the leopard. And your genet cat. There's a lot of genet cats. So if you, if you see any leopard tracks on the path, just point them out. Oh, well, yeah. Specifically past work on the Okay. Cool. <laughs> back on the coastline. Yeah. Are they eating your sheep? You're strong. My cat is the young hyphen. I lost three last year. Wow. Ach, near. Down the hill. Wow. You ran it. You know the old bacon rock section? I yeah. Think. That's where they also spotted that big male a few years ago. Okay. There's quite a lot of activity here. Oh, oh. Very and good. Mighty yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it the one heifer or No, there's a few. Great. I had friends that yeah. ran Rickbutt about a month and a half ago. Yeah. And literally 1k in, the top of Rickbutt. Where that viewpoint is into yeah. the crags there, there was a leopard kill. Wow, oh. amazing. <coughs> the leftovers from a yeah. porcupine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> 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 you also find it. Those are brave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking. Just think it off the street. Oh, yeah. 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 Good everyone, so um, this is a chilled walk, but what we're going to do now is this little section, it's really nice as we go through the forest to listen to the birds and things, and because we're a big group and we like, as people, we like to make like baboons and chatter a lot, so we're going to walk this little section in, in silence, cool. okay, um, even if you see a really exciting animal, you don't have to scream out about it. Just say hi to the animal yourself and let others find him. Um, but we'll walk up to the view site in silence and you can just enjoy this space in the forest. And give yourself space so you don't feel you have to walk like right on top of the person in front of you. Peter's going to go ahead with the foster crowd. Um, but give yourself space. And if, if you if you like coming up too close to someone, give them space. So just slow down a little bit. There's no rush. All right, enjoy it. Excellent, thank you. So you just stay right. a little bit because yeah, straight up. Yeah. So you stay there and then just keep moving. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, Peter. Thanks. Have fun.
lie to you or should I make up a story? Whatever you I believe in. I think it's the interior of some kind of It's about 20 past 10. Not from here. Let's just really look at. A whole lot of people have gone right. Okay, well, just hang on a minute till uh, whatever his name right. is behind us. We took this look back to Nature's Valley. Yeah. So why would they have done that? Yeah, I mean, they go back to Nature's Valley. Maybe because Kierpot can't possibly yeah. come through. Yeah, is our man behind us? Yes. Yes, okay. yes ma'am. Ingrid, we'll ring you okay. back when our man comes, okay? Do, do we know who's calling you? Who's yeah, I'll ring you back family? when he comes. I don't know where he is now. Okay, I'll ring you back. I've got some spur here. Going back. I'm all right. Look at this. I wonder what this is. This is some kind of a... It's a pig. Yeah. Could this be a boost pig? Yeah, yeah. Some buck. I don't know. A buck has got well, the buck spur that I've seen have got oh, little there? pointy bits, like oh, okay. almost like that. Also, also cloven yeah, like that. Yeah. But Sorry, and it's more indented. Are they supposed to go here. Right. right. Okay. Fine. I'll ring Ingrid back and say they're on the right course then. 
That was confusing in say Nature's Valley. Yeah. A lot of them okay. ahead rang me back because they're worried they've gone the wrong way. So somebody's um, injured. Me. If you can just call me back, they need to take an exit route from Forest between Hall. Forest Hall. I think we're taking that exit route. Okay, it's about 11 o'clock. We've had a nice long break and a bit of a picnic recharge. And that was under the trees over there. Uh, it's just past, yeah, going on to 10 past 11. And. Yeah, this is it. Rugbad Kirkwood Nature's Valley. Notice of indemnity. No entry there. Titsikama section. No domestic animals beyond this point, etc. Warning, remain on designated path. Failure to do so will result in prosecution for trespass, right of omission reserved, to first form at your own risk. And here we go. Literally five paces down the road. Morris. Morass. Remain in designated path. Swamp, a bog. Just a bog. Blech. It came from the swamp. Yes, this is the the greenest, yuckiest yeah. body of water I've seen in in ever. As stagnant as stagnant can be, I guess. It doesn't stink though. Yeah. There's a banana tree on the opposite side. Bush hut. Oh, you can't really see the tree right in the I'm going to hide behind the tree. There we go, that's good. Okay, you can walk and just ignore me. Okay, here we go. This looks amazing. Like a forestry hut. It's got a new bed in it. Candles and cigarettes and cooling and bottle and uh, well now amazing. Sorry. Well, okay. There's the jetty. It's a jetty. Look at this. 
Uh, don't fall in. Reminds me of uh, Henry Thoreau's hut in the in the in the woods near Walden Lake. At quarter past eleven, Forest Hall residents own only, and they visit the fishermen that way, I guess, and see any other paths. Quarter past eleven still. <laughs> Just past quarter past eleven. There's another sign, steep decline danger, detour safe route. This? Probably down there, I guess. Going on to 20 past 11. This is a steep downhill. We've just been advised to uh, not step on the edge, on the planks, on the, uh, the poles, the crossbars they can be slippery and stepping on them loosens them and then it deteriorates the quality of the path so rather step on the ground in the middle of the step to preserve the path downhill otherwise we might end up with quite a bit of erosion eventually Just about 20 past 11, and this is what happens eventually. They wear out, and the step eventually erodes, and you don't want to propagate that any further. Past, just past 20 past 11 at the bottom of the steps there they go uphill and steep incline danger and detour safe route I don't see the safe route I don't see the safe route you see the safe route? I don't see the safe route just past Half past 11 and coming out of the forest there's the beach Going on to 25 to 12, there's a sign, half of a sign, I don't see the rest of it. Uh, this might be the track it's referring to, I don't know.
25 to 12. Coming up to a viewpoint. Here's Roberg. Roberg. Gettenberg Bay. Oh, what's this structure? Looks like a parking garage in the middle of nowhere. That's peculiar. This is a comma section. No domestic animals beyond this point. Guide dogs. Entry at own risk. Regulations, National Environmental Management, Protected Areas Act, all the good stuff. Oh, looks like we've caught up to some of the people at least. <laughs> Going on to quarter to 12. There's a roadway coming down the hill and we are supposed to go straight across. It's up the hill, there's the parking garage. And coming straight across. Going down to the beach. There's a sign. No entry. Okay. Going on to 10 to 12. Here's another bit of roadway and Going to the right. I like him I like him Uh 10 to 12. And our guide has kindly given us a sign. I guess it's this way. Not there or down. Although you could go down, I see. But it's going straight. Oh, and everybody's having a picnic. There we go. Finally caught up with leaders. Uh, it's about quarter past twelve. We've just had a picnic here and moving on. Follow the arrow. Pebble Beach.
half past 12. We've come across the rocks. Pretty much anywhere we can find a path. Perhaps along the along the vegetation might be easier, I don't know. But here we are. There's a clear path along the vegetation from this point onwards. Post 12, a couple of paces down the road, coming up to a nice viewpoint. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a little crab running around here. There it is. Come on! There it goes. It's quite fast. What's that? Little crab. Yay yeah, size. I guess so. Going on to quarter to one. Apparently there's a rock pool over here. I'm going to try to take a quick look at it. Somebody said that uh, apparently last year one of the hikers climbed up here and then dove into the rock pool I don't quite see it but then again I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for that's not it I suppose it could be over there but you've got to know your stuff This is a nice little pool, but not one to be dived into. I guess that's it. I don't see anything else that might be the supposed rock pool that they were referring to. they love to do is they love to roll in the sand and then rub themselves against the rock so okay we would have maybe done that over there somewhere and then like hopped it on might be chilling out for the day they're the cutest tracks because they're like gentle you know they're like soft mm. yeah cool guys let's go nice. okay apparently those are otter tracks Oh, and there's an arrow. This way, please.
Just past 10 to 1. Came through the gap in the rocks over there. And scramble. Just going on to one o'clock. There's a little archway. I don't know whether we're going through or over. We'll see when we get there, I guess. No, we're going past. Just past one o'clock, there's the archway, I'm looking edge on, there's a little pool behind, turning around, here's a bit of technical negotiation required, it seems. Now follow the lines. Zigzag. Zigzag. Okay, I don't see the lines anymore. And zag the other way again. just past one o'clock five past one that's the technical negotiation bit zigzagging across the rocks over there coming down here's a little cave which might become flooded at high tide nice front window lovely And a bit of 
Rock scrambling it seems. Wait for the water. And go. Go. And go. There we go. In, 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 go, go, go. Quickly, quickly. Yay! Can you no help? All right. It's makkelijker to boeien. Wacht, 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 wacht. Zo. Zo. Oké. En. Here we go. Zij. De grachten. Ik is zelf achter. Alright, al terug. Ja, vooral na een langdagse stap. Ja. Dat is klein. Als ik laag was, dan is het niet zo onder. Ik denk dat het altijd goed is. Ik heb geen idee nie. Ik weet niet hoe die getuie hier lijkt nie. It's going on to quarter past one. Here's another bit of technical negotiation. This can be tricky. Uh, 
and still quarter past one. Just a few paces down the way. The loose gravel can be quite slippery. Twenty-five past one. Came along the rocks over there, and not over, but under. Okay, it's half past one. This looks like a very interesting rock formation. Apparently there's a tradition of throwing a rock through the hole at the top. I don't think my arm is strong enough to, to achieve that actually. I had a friend who could do it, but uh, I'm not really a baseball pitcher. Twenty-five past, uh, 25 to 2. Um, there's a little stream you need to wade through or jump across and then there's a hole in the rock we were walking around the front and the tide was a little bit too high we didn't want to take our shoes off and no, I don't think there's anything there is there? there's, a hole. there's another hole oh. exhale oh, I'm, going to I'm going to take the other hole Yes. See another hole. Quarter to two, and we are pretty much at home, back at home I think, probably across here. Thank you. <laughs> Just uh, going on to 10 to 2 and this is the walkway I presume this is the walkway where we were this morning and that's a peculiar little protrusion over there which I do not quite understand the function of of which I do not quite understand the function but this seems to be the point of access Use this wooden deck entirely at your own risk.
It's strange. Ten past seven. Almost seven hours hiking, I think. And here we are back again. Well, it was a pretty good hike. Uh, I enjoyed it tremendously. Thanks for coming along.